Some common types of elimination reactions have names and they're named after what is being eliminated. So for example, industri industrially, ethylene and propylene, these double bonds on an ethane or a propane, are prepared using a technique called dehydrogenation. And usually it is catalyzed with a metal and we eliminate H2 as a gas. In a dehydrogenation, you are releasing a hydrogen and a hydrogen on each side of the carbon to then form a double bond. This is common also in biological systems. So enzyme catalyzed dehydrogenations are known. Here's one common one. This actually happens in the citric acid cycle. You'll see the um, citric acid cycle brought up in biochemistry a lot. And these are common in reactions in which you are dealing with electron carriers in your body. So metabolic reactions as well use these dehydrogenation reactions. And again, this is just the removal of two hydrogens on a single bond to form a double bond. Another type of elimination reaction is called a dehydrohalogenation. Here, you're removing a hydrogen and a halogen to form your double bond. So in this case, you would have some type of alkyl halide. We remove the hydrogen and the halogen to form your double bond. Notice a base is used to extract the proton. So here's that base plus proton, our conjugate acid. And here is the leaving group X, our halogen. Another type of elimination reaction is simply called a dehydration reaction. This just refer, refers to the removal of water. Water is removed in two separate components, which is an OH and an H. These then, when removed, form water um, ultimately. So you see these on alcohols. Again, here's an example of ethyl alcohol, which you can make ethylene by removing water. This is a dehydration, removal of water. For a dehydration to occur, because OH is generally a poor leaving group, elimination doesn't happen spontaneously in this type of reaction. Usually you need to catalyze it with a strong acid. So for dehydration of alcohols, again, you need a strong acid to convert your OH group to a OH2 plus group. This makes a good leaving group. Water is a very good leaving group um, so once you protonate that OH group with acid, it can then leave and form the double bond. This type of reaction is one of the most common biological metabolic reactions. You see this catalyzed by enzymes all over the place. Um, dehydration, again, very, very, very common. You see it as a step in a complex reaction. Um, for example, in just breaking down of sugars or fats, it might be one step in a um, multi-step process. But again, one of the most common biological reactions is dehydration of alcohols.